Hey everybody, how are you? It's Peter again for MLB Trade Rumors and Discussions. It's Sunday, March 22nd, 2020. Keeping this going every single day for the rest of the year. Here we go. Today I'm up to the Dodgers, right? I've been keeping this going that we're going to talk about a real preview of every team every day. Just for the fact that we're waiting for baseball and I know it's very difficult and I know after a while it's kind of the same shit because we just want baseball to start. But I'm still going to talk about a team. I'm still going to mention what I think every day until there's more news. All right. I'm just going to do it. Even if there's a few people watch it, I appreciate the one or two people that are watching it, whoever it is. It really means a lot to me. But once baseball starts and everything gets going, you know, that's great. I have my draft today. I was very excited. And to talk about the team who actually I have a couple of the Dodgers on the team, as much as I'm a big Diamondbacks fan, I have a bunch of Diamondback guys too. But Let's talk about the Dodgers because they are the favorite to win the championship with the Yankees, right? The Dodgers made a huge signing in Mookie Betts this year, right? Mookie Betts with the trade for him was just a cherry on top of another cherry team that they already had, right? They had a fantastic team. The only end, by getting David Price to go along with Mookie Betts, that was a really big thing because if Price can go back to at all how he used to be a few years ago, and being a number three, and if Kershaw can start, Kershaw's only 32, right? So if Kershaw can find, stay healthy and find his way to go along with Bueller, that's an extremely, extremely tough team, right? Because you got Gavin Lux, who's the, their rookie sensation. Seager is not being paid attention to. He is a complete all-star shortstop. Turner still can hit. Muncy's a good ball player. Will Smith is a young kid who's really solid catcher who I have. And you still got Bellinger. Pollock, even if Pollock doesn't stay healthy, you know, when he is, he's going to be really good. It's just a scary freaking team, right? Where they need work to me. I don't know if their rotation to me is going to get them to the championship, okay? I think their rotation is where it, where it falls, right? Bueller is a really solid pitcher. But they're going to have to depend on guys like Kershaw and Price. Well, guys who have a lot of innings on their arm. And it's how how is that going to hold up, right? We know they're going to go to the playoffs. We know they pretty sh they're our favorites to go to the to the championship, right? We know that anything short of them winning a championship is a fail for the Dodgers. They're spending a lot of money. They have a lot a lot of talent, and this, their time is now to win, right? Their number four is Urias, and they got Wood. I expect to see um, uh, Ross Stripping come in soon. Because I think he's a really good pitcher. But let's talk about their bullpen. They signed Blake Trinian, which I think is a really smart move. Because if he goes back to the way he was a few a couple years ago, then you don't have to have that pressure on Jansen to be really great. Because Jansen had not his best year last year. The Dodgers, very tough. I think they will be challenged by the Diamondbacks. I think people are underestimating the Diamondbacks. I think they're going to be right there. Who knows how the hell this season's going to go now with it not being 162 games anymore. It sucks. A lot of different things can happen. All those things we were talking about, anything can happen at this point, right? But to go to the Dodgers, the Dodgers should win 100 games, obviously. They they should go to the championship. That's what it is. I honestly think the Diamondbacks can win the division. That's my opinion. I think the Diamondbacks can surprise a lot of people. Again, this all is depending on how the season goes and when it starts, right? It, it, it's a big thing. The, the Dodgers have everything to lose because they are built to win now. Let's say the Diamondbacks don't shock everybody. Should the Dodgers win? Yeah, they're the, if we talk about horses-wise, they are the four to five favorite, maybe even better than that. I would say one to one favorite on winning this of their division. So say they do win it and then the Diamondbacks go to the playoffs in the wild card, which I think is pretty much going to happen. Going against the Dodgers in a, any type of fucking series, is, excuse my language, is going to be a really, really tough thing, right? However, however, if they're playing up against a, tif a team that can pitch with them, then it's going to be a lot more difficult for them because their pitching is what can hurt them, okay? We've seen it. They need somebody else besides Buell to step up. So they, it's not always easy to depend on in offense because no matter how good you are in offense it just seems to be in the playoffs no matter what your pitching needs to shut it down a lot of guys go cold in October you know a lot of people start changing all those big-time hitters it's not the same 
right? We watched Strasburg shut down the Dodgers last year. We watched Strasburg shut down the Astros. It just, it, it changes. You never expect it. You don't know, right? Now that the season's going to be short and the Dodgers are really the, this overwhelming favorite, right? It's supposed to be Dodgers, Yankees. And the way it looks right now with injuries and everything, the Dodgers should get the Yankees. But this is why, this is why you play the game. Because on paper, again, I've mentioned this before, the Cleveland Browns should have been in the playoffs easy. You know, when you see Beckham and Landry and Kareem Hunt coming into the season, you're like, holy shit, how could this team lose? Doesn't matter, you know? Anything can happen. So I say 100 games for the Dodgers. That's my opinion. If they play a lot, depending on how many games they play, right? That was my opinion if they play 162 games. If if they play, let's say, let's say they play 100 games, right? Then, honestly, they should be winning like 75, right? That's just the way it's supposed to be, just the way the Dodgers are. Just playing against that team is going to be extremely difficult because I was picking my draft today, and I'm looking at David Price, right? Thinking about your number, if you're playing fantasy and you're thinking about these number three guys and four guys, Imagine the Dodgers going up against people's number three and four guy, a guy like Chichi Gonzalez on Colorado. Imagine if you have a pitcher there that can, you know, pitch six innings, give up two runs, three runs. For the majority of the time, you're pretty sure you're going to win the game, right? You're expecting the Dodgers to score. The Dodger team can capable of putting up 10 runs a game. That's how sick this offense could be. But again, injuries happen, shit happens. It, they are one big injury away from a Kershaw guy for things to be different. You know, let me know what you guys think because I know a lot of Dodger fans are like hell bent and they get very butt hurt when I talk about their team. We'll see what happens. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.